Welcome to Sound Church. Worship for everyone. It's great to have you with us today to worship God together. If you're watching this live, please do use the chat function to talk to us during the service and let us know that you're watching. So it's Father's Day today, so I hope you've all got your dad jokes ready. I know I have. And today, this service is going to be an opportunity for us to think about God as our Father and just celebrate how great he is. Fantastic. So it's great to begin with worship. In our Connect group at the moment, we've been looking at prayer. And this week, we were particularly thinking about the theme of adoration, appreciating God and telling him how amazing he is. So in our first song today, that in fact is actually all about how amazing God is. Okay, we're going to sing the song Indescribable, and the words will come up at the bottom of the screen, uh, and let's join in together. Thank you, girls. we are it's the song our god is generous a little bit more upbeat got a few actions in the chorus if you were here last week you'll remember them and uh, let's sing our praise to god
generosity of his love. Well now in this service we're going to hear from the Bible and uh, after that then uh, there are all age activities if you stay on this screen on the theme of Father linking in with Father's Day. Uh, there's also a separate talk from me uh, beginning a new series from Nehemiah if you want to listen to that and if you do then click on a separate link uh, after the reading. So we're now going to hear from Nehemiah chapter 1. The reading is taken from Nehemiah, chapter 1, verses 1 to 11. The words of Nehemiah, son of Hakaliah. In the month of Kislev, in the twentieth year, while I was in the citadel of Susa, Hanani, one of my brothers, came from Judah with some other men, and I questioned them about the Jewish remnant that had survived the exile and also about Jerusalem. They said to me, those who survived the exile and are back in the province are in great trouble and disgrace. The wall of Jerusalem is broken down and its gates have been burnt with fire. When I heard these things, I sat down and wept. For some days I mourned and fasted and prayed before the God of heaven. Then I said, Lord, the God of heaven, the great and awesome God, who keeps his covenant of love with those who love him and keep his commandments, let your ear be attentive and your eyes open to hear the prayer your servant is praying before you day and night for your servants, the people of Israel. I confess the sins we Israelites, including myself, and my father's family have committed against you. We have acted very wickedly towards you. We have not obeyed the commands, decrees, and laws you gave your servant, Moses. Remember the instruction you gave your servant Moses, saying, if you are unfaithful, I will scatter you among the nations. But if you return to me and obey my commands, then even if your exiled people are at the farthest horizon, I will gather them from there and bring them to the place I have chosen as a dwelling for my name. They are your servants and your people, whom you redeemed by your great strength and your mighty hand. Lord, let your ear be attentive to the prayer of this your servant and to the prayer of your servants who delight in revering your name. Give your servant success today by granting him favour in the presence of this man. I was cupbearer to the king. Hey guys, well done for staying on the stream for the all age activities today. Whilst the adults take a look at the book of Nehemiah, we're going to be talking about Father's Day. And I'm sure a lot of you will be celebrating that with your dads today. And your dads will be loving it, sat there, centre of attention, 
all eyes on them, all the food, all the gifts, everything for them. And I probably sat on the couch with you feeling really smug and satisfied. For some folks though, Father's Day can be a tough day, can be painful, can be hard, particularly if dad isn't about. And I think most of us from our experiences of dad is that we could say that they can be pretty special. They can be uh, incredible. But here's the thing, they're not quite Superman. Sorry gents to rain on your parade, but you're human. Now, of course you might be thinking, well, yeah, of course they're human. But as I said, they're not quite Superman. Sometimes they forget things. Sometimes they make empty promises. Sometimes they do something wrong. Sometimes they forget you in a supermarket and only realise when you get home. Can you believe that happens? Why would you leave your child at a supermarket? Did you not realise you went with them? Anyway, that's a talk for another day. Our dads are human. I want you to spend some time thinking about some funny stories where maybe your dad did something silly or did something wrong. Let me give you an example. I remember many, many years ago, I went to the woods for a walk with my dad and my other brothers. And all of a sudden, I turned around and I'd lost him. I'd lost dad. I didn't know where he was. I tried retracing my steps, but I just had no idea where I was. So eventually I managed to figure out where the car park was. Made it to the car park, I thought it's fine, I'll just wait by the car until dad arrives. Lo and behold, the car was gone. My dad had driven off. So I thought, what do I do? Well, my phone's dead, I may as well just start walking. So, a long walk back home. An hour and a half later, I finally make it come through the door, there's my dad sat there with a cup of coffee in his hand, sat on the couch watching the TV. Unbelievable. Maybe you guys have got similar stories. Chat about them with your parents, remind your dad of those instances. Pause the video and I'll see you shortly. Hold well on guys, I'm sure you had a lot to write down about how amazing your dad is. Here's some of the things maybe you might have written down. Maybe your dad is amazing because he makes you laugh. Maybe your dad gives you the best hugs. He reads you bedtime stories. He plays sport with you on the beach. Maybe, maybe he ties your hair really badly and that's what makes him funny. Maybe your dad is amazing in his own special way because actually he teaches you the really funny and pointless facts that you don't need to know. Maybe your dad's amazing because when your mum has said no to ice cream, you go and ask him and he says yes. All sorts of things. Our dads can be incredible. But what about God? What about this thing about God being our Father. How can we be sure that He is an amazing Father, just as the Bible says, in terms of His perfection? How can we be sure? Well, ultimately, it's all because of what His Son, Jesus Christ, has done on the cross. God loved the world so much, the world that He had created, and He sent His Son, Jesus Christ into the world to live with us, to talk to us, to warn us about how we behave. You see, the thing was, we had behaved in a way that showed that we didn't acknowledge God, that we did our own thing against God. That's what the Bible refers to as sin. And so there's a punishment for that. But God loved 
the world so much that he gave his only son so that he would step in our place on the cross and take the punishment that we deserve. Jesus died on the cross because we turned away from God. But he also did it so that we would be reunited with God. And so three days later, the greatest day in history, Jesus comes back from the dead. Jesus comes back from the dead and all of a sudden, this means that we are reconnected with God. Thanks to Jesus coming back, we can now have that sort of relationship with our Father. I don't know about you, but it sounds pretty epic to be able to go, um, my Father's raised Jesus from the dead. How many people can say that about their Father? Now, like I said earlier, your dad loves you so much and thinks the world of you. And I hope you do about your dad as well, particularly as we celebrate this time of Father's Day. He loves communicating with you. He loves holding you. But so does God. God loves all of that. He loves it when we talk to him. And the great thing here is that actually uh, God answers our prayers as well. That's something our human dads simply can't do. And that's what makes God as a father so special. That we can speak to him about anything. He listens to us and he answers our prayers. Our father sits in heaven watching us, caring for us like a father. And so God is a great role model for us as we live as Christians, but also for our dads in terms of how they look after their children. So the next time you see your dad doing something silly or naughty, remind him that he needs to try and behave like God. Shall we talk with our Father in heaven then? Let us pray. Dear God, Thank you for the Father that you are. Thank you that you are perfect in every single way. Thank you for the Father figures that you have given us where we see you in them. Father, we pray that as they live and look after us, that our fathers would be inspired by you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Happy day. Good stuff, guys. Um, you might have come up with any sort of question uh, or comments during this talk. If you do have those questions, ask your parents. See what they say. If your parents are stuck, then let us know and send your questions to katie at townchurch.org.je. Again, with those drawings that you've made, if you want to send them in, it would be great. We'd love to put them up on our Facebook page. For the time being, the adults are going to come back and join us, and we are going to come towards our time of final worship. See you in a bit. Welcome back. It's time for our prayers now. Now, if you're a bit smaller, you might want to go and grab some paper and some pens and pencils and design and write a Father's Day card to God, telling him how amazing he is and thanking him. For everyone else, then uh, we're going to divide our prayers into two parts. The first part relates to the talk that uh, I was giving on Nehemiah chapter one, where I was encouraging us to pray for our church and our world along the themes of restoration and renewal. And we're actually going to use a prayer as a family that's taken from the Unite 714 prayer movement, which is a global call for prayer at the moment, for the healing of our world and for the renewal of God's church and for the revival in nations. There's actually a prayer to pray each week uh, and the call is for people to pray at 714 in the morning and 714 in the evening. But we're going to use the prayer uh, that's been used during this last week uh, as our prayer time now as we pray together. So let us pray. 
In Joel chapter 2 it says, And it shall come to pass afterwards, that I will pour out my Spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters will prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions. So Heavenly Father, we come before your throne of grace today, and we're mindful of your ancient promise to pour out your Spirit on all flesh. This promise was fulfilled on the day of Pentecost in the book of Acts, but history bears witness to the fact that countless times, through fresh outpourings of your Spirit, you have revived your church and saved the lost. Our economies have been impacted by this pandemic and our nations have been shaken. Yet there is great promise hidden in this pain because the nations of the world have been ripened for harvest. We ask for revival and harvest to come through a fresh outpouring of your spirit, just like the one we see in the book of Joel. Lord Jesus, we cry out for your church to be revived. We ask for millions to be saved as you bring a spiritual awakening to the nations of the earth. Today we stand in awe of your care for the peoples of the world, for it is an all-encompassing, loving care that extends to the spiritual, emotional, relational, relational, physical and material needs of every human on our planet, knowing that your omniscient eye misses nothing. We ask you to heal those who have been afflicted with COVID-19, comfort the hearts of those who have, have suffered loss and heal this broken world. Lord, we boldly come before your throne today, asking you to eradicate COVID-19 from the earth. Please heal our nations from the ravages of this pandemic. In a time of unprecedented worldwide shaking, we thank you, Lord, for placing us in a kingdom that cannot be shaken. Fill us with faith, love, joy and peace. As you freshly empower us with your spirit, anoint us to become ambassadors of reconciliation. Lord, we reject panic and receive your peace. Empower us to be your witnesses in our cities and our nations. Amen. 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 For the second part of our prayers this morning, uh, we're going to focus on you as fathers or those of you who are father figures. Uh, we just want to play, pray a blessing over you today. Um, so let's pray for you. Lord, we thank you for all the people you have called to be fathers or to be father figures to people in our world. Lord, we thank you for the amazing job that they do. Uh, and we pray that you would equip them with wisdom, with grace, and that they would be models of what you are as a father. We pray that their children would see you through them and be with them this day. Amen. 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 All right, we're going to finish with a final song, um, which will help us to remember that God is our father and we are his children. And whilst we sing this, let's allow the Holy Spirit to speak these words over us and give us the freedom this week as dearly loved children of our Heavenly Father. So we're going to sing Good, Good Father. Brilliant, thank you. Right, off the so sofa. If we, off. if we can get on the sofa, we can't quite <laughs> squeeze on the sofa, but we're getting there slowly. Is it just you on the piano, B? Yes, okay, okay, we're going to sing. Paris, you come and we, you squeeze up. Yeah, I'm squidgy. Oh, yeah, I don't fit in. <laughs> I don't fit in. It's sort of funny. Oh. There we go. Daddy doesn't use up a tiny bit more. We're all right. <laughs> okay, let's take it away. <laughs> Here you are. 
just pray that you speak those words over us. In our lives many people speak words over us. Maybe our fathers would have spoken words of us that actually haven't been helpful. Maybe we speak over words over ourselves each day that are not helpful, that tell us we're not good enough, that tell us we can't do the things that you ask us to do, that make us feel small when you want to make us feel big. And we pray this week we hear the words that you sing over us words that say we are loved and we are valued and we are chosen and we are accepted and we are redeemed and we are restored. When we hear those words from you and may that be the tune that we sing, may that be the life that we live with you as our Father and as your, as your dearly loved children. In Jesus name. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. Please do get in touch with us if you want to at info at townchurch.org.je. Like and share if you found this helpful and continue talking to us on the chat if you're watching this live. Have a great day. <laughs>